So who had the most streams of 2015? Well, to answer that question, we want to bring in a Spotify spokesperson, Shannon Cook. Uh, good to see you, Cookie. Uh, let's start Cookie. with... Uh, Oh, we go way back. Cookie. Oh, come on, we go way back. Did you just, did you just call me Cookie? I didn't call you cookie. Shaz, because you hate Shaz. Cookie, cookie is acceptable. I there do you go. Not All like right. Shaz. Let's, let's get on with it. Come on, let's get on with it. We, right. we got, uh, we've got limited time. The producer's already yelling at us. The Beatles are streaming. What's popular and what's the age group? Because that's surprising. Well, first of all, um, since the Beatles became available on Spotify, we saw more than 70 million streams in the, in the few days since oh, wow. they became available, which is staggering. Uh, the most popular song is Come Together. Perhaps not surprising because it's kind of a good song to play during Christmas because this all happened during Christmas. Um, and very popular with younger listeners, believe it or not. In fact, 65% of listeners are actually under the age of 34. We find that, you know, our core cool listeners on Spotify tend to be pretty young, and they love these veteran bands and bands with his historical significance like the Beatles. They love the Rolling Stones, they love Queen, they love Led Zeppelin. So perhaps not too surprising that younger listeners and not just baby boomers have really embraced the Beatles since they hit, hit the service. And when we talk about who had the most streams, in 2015. This was right. the year of Drake, wasn't it? It was. A uh, rapper <laughs> from <laughs> Toronto. I'm sure you guys are huge fans of Drake. I we, am. We, I went down with Drake. I jam to that all the time in my car. Oh, well, Hotline Bling is a huge song at the moment. 270 million streams. It's, it's doing really well. Drake's music streamed more than 1.8 billion times oh, in wow. 2015, which is huge. Here's a guy who really benefited from being in the spotlight all year. He released a surprise album in February. He was the subject of lots of memes, partly because of these dance moves we're seeing here in this yeah, music really video funky, for Hotline Bling. A lot of people made fun of them. I think he looks really, really smooth. Uh, yeah. But a great, great year for him. And um, and the music's good. The music's good, so I'm, I'm happy for him. It is, it is pretty catchy. You know the song is about a booty call, right? I know what it's... <laughs> I know, I know, I'm not that old. Me on <sighs> I, I'm down with that. See, I can do the You're whole down with thing. What? Yeah, the, the whole. Not that. <laughs> not that. Hey, listen, uh, uh, Justin Bieber, just to show I'm still cool. I mean, he he was tabloid fodder for so long, but he had a pretty right. good year. He is the comeback king of 2015. He released some excellent music this year. He's making the best music of his career in it. He's gone in a bit of electronic dance music angle, and as a result, he's appealing to a much broader audience and older listeners. I never used to listen to, listen to Justin Bieber's stuff, and I am obsessed with this new music that he's making. The top two songs on Spotify at the moment are Justin Bieber songs. I believe it. Uh, and and he, he, his music was streamed the most in a single day uh, ever on Spotify. 36 million streams when his album came out. Good year for the Biebs. Wow. I'm a believer, and wow. I think Shannon is too. Although I... it's so funny, when I listened to these songs on the radio, I had no idea they were Justin Bieber oh, songs right. until I, I googled it. I was like, oh my goodness, there he is. That's he's what's been happening. Talented. He's he's been surprising people. I thought he was. He, he, I liked it in the New Zoolander movie. They've only got the trailers out, but he takes the Mickey out of himself in that too, which was pretty good with the little selfie thing as he gets killed. There you go. She's got a minute. Well, you got um, so what about Rihanna? Has she had a pretty stellar year as well? Rihanna had a great year. Interestingly, she was our most streamed female artist oh. on Spotify, even though she didn't release an album. She's one of those artists who can be between albums, between haircuts, between racy outfits, and she streams in consistently high numbers. New album coming from her next year, which is going to boost her even, even higher with our listeners, that's for sure.